Gardens can reach new heights, literally, with the charm of climbing flowers. Picture your outdoor space transformed by the vibrant dance of morning glories, the elegant cascade of clematis, or the sweet scent of jasmine wafting from above. Vertical gardening with climbing flowers not only provides a stunning aesthetic upgrade, it saves space, enhances privacy, and turns ordinary walls and trellises into lush living art. Prepare to elevate your green spaces with nature's own decorators, the climbing flowers. Climbing flowers come in a vibrant variety, each with its unique allure. Picture the morning glory, with its trumpet-shaped blooms in a symphony of colors, unfurling at dawn to greet the sun. Then there's the clematis, a robust climber that blankets trellises and fences with a cascade of star-shaped blossoms. And let's not forget the jasmine, its starry white flowers wafting a sweet, intoxicating fragrance that turns any evening into a sensory delight. These climbers are more than just pretty faces. They're versatile, adaptable, and can turn the most mundane spaces into vertical canvases of color and scent. Whether it's a plain brick wall, a fence, or a trellis, these climbers rise to the occasion, reaching for the skies and transforming these structures into lush, living murals. These blossoms are nature's artists, transforming plain walls into lush masterpieces. They're the secret to taking your garden from ground level to the treetops, adding layers of visual interest and creating a dynamic, vertical landscape. Choosing the right climber for your garden requires a blend of knowledge and intuition. Now, let's delve into the world of climbing flowers and discover how to select the best ones based on your specific climate and location. Remember, each climber has its unique growth habits and sun requirements, and understanding these will help you make an informed choice. First off, consider your climate. If you're in a cooler region, you might want to gravitate towards climbers like clematis or honeysuckle. These plants are hardy and can withstand lower temperatures. On the flip side, if you're in a warmer climate, bougainvillea or jasmine could be your best bet. These climbers thrive in the heat and will add a tropical touch to your vertical garden. Next, think about the location of your vertical garden. If it's a sunny spot, morning glories or climbing roses will revel in the abundant sunlight. But if your garden is in a shady area, fear not. Climbers like ivy or climbing hydrangea will still flourish and bring a dash of color to those less sun-kissed spots. Now let's talk about growth habits. Some climbers, like wisteria or trumpet vine, grow rapidly and can quickly cover a large area. These are perfect if you're looking to create a green facade or a privacy screen. However, if you're working with a smaller space or a delicate trellis, you might want to opt for slower-growing climbers like sweet peas or clematis. They'll provide a more controlled and manageable growth. Finally, don't forget to consider the sun requirements of your chosen climber. Most climbing flowers love the sun, but some can tolerate partial shade. Always check the sun requirements before planting to ensure your climber will be happy and healthy. Choosing the right climber is like choosing the right companion. It needs to fit your lifestyle and environment. It may seem daunting at first, but once you've considered these factors, you'll be well on your way to creating a vertical garden that not only thrives but also reflects your unique style and taste. With the right climber, your garden will bloom with life and color. To help your climbing flowers thrive, you need to know some gardening secrets. Now it's time to delve into the world of vertical gardening with some expert tips. First, let's talk about planting. The best time to plant climbing flowers is in the spring or fall when the weather is mild. Dig a hole twice as wide as the root ball and just as deep. Place your plant in the hole, making sure the top of the root ball is level with the ground. Fill the hole with soil, firming it gently around the root ball. Next, watering. These climbers are thirsty plants, especially during the growing season. Water them regularly, ensuring the soil is moist but not waterlogged. It's better to water deeply once or twice a week than to sprinkle a little every day. This encourages the roots to grow deep and strong. Let's move on to feeding. Climbing flowers are heavy feeders. They need a balanced, slow-release fertilizer applied in the spring and again in midsummer to boost their growth and blooms. Now, on to support. Climbers need something to climb on. Whether it's a trellis, a fence, or a wall, make sure it's sturdy. Train the young shoots towards the support structure, tying them gently with soft twine. Pruning is also essential. Pruning helps to maintain the shape of your climber and encourages more flowers. For most climbers, the best time to prune is late winter or early spring. However, for those that bloom on old wood, like some varieties of clematis, pruning should be done immediately after flowering. Lastly, let's touch on pest control. Keep an eye out for common pests like aphids and caterpillars. 
If you spot any, remove them manually or use an organic insecticide. Remember, a healthy plant is less likely to be attacked by pests, so keep your climbers well fed and watered. With these tips, your climbers will not only survive but thrive. So get out there and let your garden grow sky high. Now let's bring your vertical garden to life with some creative projects. Imagine a bare trellis transforming into a living tapestry of vibrant colors. Setting up a trellis for your climbing flowers is a brilliant way to kickstart your vertical gardening journey. You can use a wooden or metal trellis, depending on your preference. The crucial part here is to ensure the trellis is sturdy enough to support the weight of mature plants. Once set up, plant your climbing flowers at the base and guide their tendrils to weave through the trellis. Over time, you'll see this simple structure bloom into a beautiful organic mural. Now, if you're working with limited space or prefer a more modern aesthetic, wall-mounted planters can be a perfect fit. These planters can be easily attached to walls, fences, or even balcony railings. They not only save space, but also add an unexpected touch of greenery to your surroundings. For these, choose climbing flowers that have a more compact growth habit, such as the dwarf morning glory or the winter jasmine. For those who love a challenge, why not create a green facade? This project involves covering an entire wall or building with climbing flowers. It's a fantastic way to transform a mundane wall into a remarkable feature, enhancing privacy while also improving air quality. Be sure to choose vigorous climbers, like the Sweet Autumn Clematis or the Virginia Creeper, for a lush, full coverage. Lastly, don't limit yourself to these ideas. You can use old ladders, window frames, or even bicycle wheels as supports for your climbers. The possibilities are endless and each project will add a unique character to your garden. The beauty of vertical gardening lies not only in the stunning visual impact it creates, but also in the process of watching your garden grow, climb, and flourish. Each project is an opportunity to learn, experiment, and create something truly special. Remember, creativity is the key to a unique and beautiful vertical garden. Vertical gardening with climbing flowers is a journey of learning and discovery. It's about creating beauty in unexpected places, transforming the ordinary into the extraordinary. Through today's exploration, we've seen how climbing flowers like morning glories, clematis, and jasmine can elevate a simple garden wall or trellis into a lush, vertical oasis. These vibrant climbers offer us a unique way to maximize our garden space, bringing color and life to vertical surfaces. They also provide a sense of privacy, creating a living screen between you and the world. But perhaps most importantly, climbing flowers enhance the aesthetic appeal of our outdoor areas, turning them into breathtaking scenes of natural beauty. Choosing the right climbers is crucial to the success of your vertical garden. Some climbers, like the sun-loving clematis, thrive in warm, sunny spots, while others, like the shade-tolerant climbing hydrangea, prefer cooler, shaded areas. Understanding the growth habits and sun requirements of your chosen climbers will ensure they flourish and bloom to their full potential. And let's not forget the invaluable advice from our experts. They've shown us how to properly plant and care for our climbing flowers, offering tips on supporting their growth and ensuring optimal health and bloom. From using the right soil and watering techniques to providing sturdy supports and regular pruning, these expert insights are key to nurturing our vertical gardens. We've also seen some creative vertical gardening projects demonstrating the limitless possibilities of vertical gardening with climbing flowers. Whether it's setting up a trellis, using wall-mounted planters, or creating a green facade, these projects have shown us that with a bit of creativity and effort, we can transform any vertical space into a garden paradise. So what's next on your gardening adventure? Perhaps it's time to experiment with these ideas in your own garden. Try a new climber, set up a trellis, or create a green facade. Remember, every garden is unique, and what works for one may not work for another. But with patience, care, and a love for gardening, you can create a vertical garden that reflects your personal style and taste. Now, it's your turn to create a vertical garden oasis with climbing flowers. Share your successes or tips in the comments below and inspire others with your green thumb. Let's continue this journey together, learning, growing, and creating beautiful vertical gardens with climbing flowers.